Yo, what's good, y'all? B Dub, the Anime Master, is back. Today's video is going to be a discussion on how exactly did I get into anime. Pretty much talking about how I got into various anime series and just anime overall. So, this will be probably a two part series, maybe three part, depending on how long I stretch these videos out. But anyway, this is part one intro start. B Dub, the Anime Master. 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 Dragon Ball Z, the Anime Master. Here we go, the Anime Death Master. Hell, nigga. Dragon Ball Z, the Anime one piece. Master. Here we go, the Anime Master. So I'm back in my old elementary school setting here. Some things have changed. I haven't filmed here at this place in quite a while. But anyway, let's get started. So, getting into anime. Now at the time, um, when I, I guess you can say my first early memory of anime is probably, um, from what I can remember, is uh, Akira, the 1988 anime movie Akira. Akira Akira. And that was around maybe early 1994, I think, maybe 93. From what I can remember, I was about maybe six, maybe seven years old. <clears throat> so at that time, I remember uh, seeing it. I forgot what channel it was on, but I remember checking it out. And I thought it was very interesting how different it looked. Because at that time, when you're a kid, uh, you're used to watching like Looney Tunes and uh, you know, Nickelodeon as far as my generation. And I also used to watching cartoons like Doug and Rugrats and uh, Ren and Stimpy and, you know, uh, Beavis and Butthead, stuff like that, with that type of American animation style. So when I saw Akita, I think it was on Sci-Fi Channel, I don't, I don't remember. But I remember when I saw it and I saw some pieces of it, I said, man, this looks kind of cool and interesting. What is it? It looks so detailed because the Akita movie's animation quality is so detailed, vivid and high as far as the production value of how it was animated. So it really blew me away at a young age and I wanted to watch it, but obviously I could not due to the graphic violence and all the other stuff. But um, I did remember that I had to sneak to watch the whole movie and I didn't understand any fucking thing that went on in that film. I was, like I said, I was young, I was about seven, I think, six or seven. Didn't understand nothing. I just liked the visuals, the colors, the red motorcycle, it really stood out to me and how violent it was, because I was so shocked to see a cartoon be so, like, graphically violent. And I don't mean violence in general, because I'm so used to, like, the Looney Tunes silly violence. But seeing that style of violence in that film, it really just, it, it made me go, like, holy shit, like, are there more cartoons like this? This is before I knew it was anime, Japan animation, or whatever title you want to give it. So... Fast forward about a year or two later, I think I had watched, um, I think it was Samurai Pizza Cats. I forgot what channel that was on. It used to come on in the mornings from what I remember. I remember watching some parts of that, Samurai Pizza Cats, and that was an anime at the time. So my anime beginnings was very early on as far as some of that stuff, the Akira movie, Samurai Pizza Cats. And then of course, uh, I do remember watching a glimpse of the old 1995 Dragon Ball dub, the Trimark, Lionsgate, old Dragon Ball dub, or Kidmark, Vidmark, whatever company that had the rights at the time. Uh, I remember that dub with the, you know, with the goofy theme song. Yeah, that theme song. And I remember watching maybe an episode or two of that and I didn't, didn't really like it. But I do remember it was called Dragon Ball. They had that, that uh, you know, semi-catchy theme. And this was like probably like in 95, yeah, about 95, 96 when I saw some parts of that. And um, that was probably about it until, uh, until like, oh, you know what also? Around that time, around 95, 96, um, I saw Sci-Fi Channel's advertisement 
for the anime Saturdays or and it, I think it was anime Saturday or something like that. And any Saturday, so, something like that. I remember it, there was a preview for it, a trailer, a commercial ad, whatever. And it showed glimpses of Akira. It showed Tenchi Muyo, uh, Tenchi Muyo movie one, I think, uh, Tenchi Muyo in Love. I remember seeing a glimpse of the, of the Ryoko character. Cause like years later when I watched it on Toonami, I said, hey, I seen this, this character before, but I couldn't remember where I saw it from. But it was from that sci-fi trailer from all those years prior before I started watching Tenchi on Toonami later on in like 2001, I think. But anyway, we'll get to that in a second. But, um, so yeah, uh, I saw a glimpse of that, the Dragon Ball dub, Samurai Pizza Cats, Akira, Akira. And that was pretty much my first bits of getting into anime. And at the time, I thought it was interesting and cool. And still, as of that point, I didn't know it was called anime. Cause like, I got into Pokemon around 98 as well. And, um, Pokemon was the next big thing as far as my anime introduction. Like, Pokemon was pretty huge. You know, I got into Pokemon around 98, 99, uh, watching the anime, playing the video games, and then the Pokemon the first movie had came out at, the, at that time, around 99. And it was like a huge phenomenon. And, you know, I was like, man, you know, I'm, I'm really liking this style of, like, cartoons. And... That's when I discovered about, okay, these aren't cartoons, they're anime. They're cartoons. They're just Japanese cartoons. Anime. Anime, however you want to pronounce it. And then, of course, I moved on to Dragon Ball Z. Now, Toonami comes into introduction, of course. And that's when I discovered that it was called anime. You know what I'm saying? You know, internet and this and this and that. And so, I started watching, of course, Dragon Ball Z. And that's when the shit hit the fan. Uh, my first instance of Dragon Ball Z, from what I remember, it was the episode where Goku and Gohan were training for the Cell games. And um, it was when they were having that time of peace, like they was kind of chilling. I think it was the episode before Gohan's birthday episode. That was the first episode of Dragon Ball Z I ever saw. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I didn't think it was like interesting at first. I said, what is, like, what is this? You know, it looks very, uh, you know, Japanese because you know it's anime so I remember looking at that like ass eh, whatever it, it, it reminded me of Pokemon um, so uh, the second part of Dragon Ball Z that I looked at that really made me a huge fan of Dragon Ball Z that made me go like okay this is fucking awesome I want to watch more of this this anime it was a Dead Zone movie they premiered not premiered they broadcasted the uh, Dead Zone film the first Dragon Ball Z movie and I was hooked man I after that, right there, I was like, okay, that was fucking awesome. This is great. I had the old ocean dub. I was like, yo, this is fucking great. I need to watch more of Dragon Ball Z. And Toonami introduced me to so much anime, and it was insane. So I'm going to leave it right here because of how, many, how much time we get. Okay. I'm going to stop the video right here, and I'm going to do a second part where I talk about uh, Toonami, the various animes on Toonami, uh, Kids WB, and, um, you know, Cartoon Network and all that other good stuff. I'm also going to be talking about how I try to look for more anime titles, like I try to find DVDs um, and, and Suncoast Video and all the other good stuff, you know, VHS tapes and trailers and all that. I'm going to be talking about how I really, really pretty much became an anime fan, the, the fan I am today, as you can see with the Naruto shirt, but yeah, so anyway... Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What anime did you get into that made you that super fan? And stay tuned for the second part of my Getting Into Anime video series. So, I am B-Dub, the Anime Master. Check out my Facebook fan page. Check out the Twitter accounts, Twitter link also. Link for the Facebook fan page and uh, Twitter are in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook fan page, and leave a like for this video right here as well. Support your man, B-Dub, the Anime Master. I'm back with brand new videos. Consistency will continue. And um, yeah, that's about it. So like I said, stay tuned for more content. Once again, I am B-Dub, the Anime Master. Peace.